Rebel Gaming Club Wars Pickup. Let me stop you right there. This is a new year. This is. It's a new year. And I'll... Uh, Rebel Gaming Club Wars Pickup Episode 70! Holy shit, 70 Jordan! Jordan, give me some energy. This is a new year. This is a new Jordan. 70. 70 in. 2018. This is the first episode of the new year. This is a new oh. year, new time, new resolution. Drink more Diet Pepsi. No, no never. Just switch to water. Fuck that. Sean Long, he's, he's a. Dr. He, Pepper. He's the Diet Dr. Pepper. I'm the Diet Pepsi guy. One day, sponsorships. You would see him punk. Ha <laughs> ha! Does, does he have. No, but he has. Oh, he has the tattoo, yeah. Are you gonna get a tattoo? No, no. I don't like it that much. <laughs> I think you do. I they, don't. Man, he what about Monster? It. They've changed their logo, though. This isn't even accurate. Anymore. This is the old school logo. Yeah. Uh, which is cooler. We got any news going on? Uh. Going? No. Yes. What's the news? You got no news. We're working on some shit. But it, we say that every week because yeah, we are always working on some we shit. We are. We're, we're actually gonna get some shit done. Let's finish it before we start talking about it. I mean, we did knock out another demo hey. just me, yesterday. Me and Jordan did something. We'll talk about it for the people. It. Jordan, yeah, remember that? That was bad. Well, you guys did something, but did you show it to anyone? Christmas Eve. He he hasn't. He barely showed me. He showed me a little bit. It was cringy. There's Nazis in it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all we got. All right. That's good. That's all it's worth saying. Guys, this past week, right before Christmas, GameStop just goes crazy. They start their, their buy two, get one free. Before that, they have their buy four for $10 deal going on, or $20. For 20 or four for 30. 20 They have different sets of games. Yeah. But... They, there was a glitch in the system this year, and they fucked up. And if you were online, it went from four for twenty down to four for twelve. Whoa! So I took a, I took advantage of that. All right, all right. I took advantage of that. Should we just that's start showing some games? That's an eight dollar saving. That I mean, that's a lot. That adds savings. up. That's so many burritos. Yeah, it's two bucks off. And these are all mixed up, but these are all either buy two get one free or as part of the the four for. 12 deal that I took advantage of. First up, we got the Sly Collection. I grabbed this because Jordan was talking about it. What, you just beat the first one? Yeah, I just started the second one. Nice. And you love this series. It's fun, dude. It's, good. it's really good. I've dabbled. I haven't, I've probably played about 45 minutes of the first one. It's a good platforming. We hey. got. Hey, there's a, there's a fourth one we didn't know about. Remember that? Yeah. Well, I got that in here a little bit later. Ah, shit. We got uh, Street Fighter 4. I don't know anything about this game. I don't know anything it's after supposed, the second it's supposed one. It's supposed to be good, I think. Right? It's Street Fighter. It's, street, it's more of the same, right? It is, but it's supposed to be pretty fucking good. I think they still play this one. In competitions. Ooh. We got Kingdoms of Emma Lore Reckoning. You know what famous... Uh, Baseball player produced it. Yeah, there was a uh, bird, man. What? Bird. No bird. Was it Greg Bird? <laughs> it was Kurt Schilling? Was it? Was it? Kurt Schilling? He went fucking bankrupt. Bankrupt that on shit. this game, and it, uh, it's a good game though. That's actually really good. Todd McFarlane's connected to it as well. Oh, yeah, it's good design. I'm excited. I've never played that, but I've heard it's great fun. things. It's straight like beat him up kind of. Metro RPG. Last Light. What do you guys know about this one? I don't know shit. I always hear about it. It's supposed to be good. Shooter. Fuck shoot. Dark shooters. Dark shooter. Don't like that. Stories. Uh, picked up Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. <gasps> so this is the fourth one, I guess, in the we, series. We didn't know about that. I don't have a PS3. Bummer. I do. Hey, you ever gonna give me back my 360 cord? Probably not. Card. Power cord. Let me know when you need it back. Yeah, yeah. Resident Evil 5. I've never played. Uh, I bought it too. 
and I have uh, been meaning to play it because I like four. At my house. That's where it is. Yeah. You, got, you guys seen that game? I bought it too many games. Your co op. My uh, PS2 game? Fusion Frenzy 2. No. Okay. I have, Fuck. No, I have that at my house too. Oh. This is a great party game. It well, is good. I mean, the first one is. I've never played the second one. No. But if it's we anything. I played the first one. It's good. Yeah. It's fun. Golden Axe Beast Rider. <laughs> Fuck it. <shit. laughs> that was good. I don't have the worst fucking burps. Oh, I know it. Pepsi and uh, peanut noodle. And pizza. That was last night. Uh, Blood Drive. I don't know anything about that. It looks good, though. That looks cool. Looks like Grand Theft Auto. <sighs> but cars. Yep. Picked up some uh, PS4 games. This one on Amazon for 10 bucks. What is this? Exist. Archive. Jordan, you also bought this one? Yeah, I haven't tried it yet. We don't know anything about it. Ben told me it plays like uh, Valkyrie Profile. Assault Suit Lanos. Ooh, remember hearing about that when it came out. Yeah. Been waiting for it. CM Retro. Chris Miller was uh, hyping this one up. And uh, looks fun. This was the, this was free because it was part of that buy two. So I was happy with that. Yeah, for twelve bucks. Worth twelve bucks. We got this uh, Final Fantasy Type O HD. Zero. Zero. I don't know anything about it. Jordan says he played it for like an hour. Yeah, that's okay. Eh. We, eh. Tomb Raider, the definitive edition. I got that. You got put that? A couple, <coughs> put a couple hours into it. It's fun. It's good. King's Quest, the complete collection. It's no Blazing Dragons on the PS1, but this looks like a really fun point and click. She's super on this one. I'll be borrowing this at some point, you know what I'm saying? I'll fuck your mother with this! We got we got Victor Victor Vran Overkill Edition it's like Motorhead's game right here it's got Lemmy in it it's got Motorhead music it's DLC it's DLC of the game oh I see so that's that makes sense yeah, yeah. It's still cool yeah it is cool fucking sweet all right <laughs> we got 007 <coughs> Legends on the Wii U. Okay, right? This was this was four bucks, so I'm not gonna complain on that. No. Uh, it's like all the old games. GameStop hooked it up on this Sonic Lost Worlds. They didn't even put a sticker on the front. It's supposed to be shitty, right? Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be kind of shitty and make you kind of nauseous. I can't wait to play it. It's shiny though. Uh, it's a great cover. There's the one on PS1. On 007? Yeah. I know what you're talking about. It was bad. Yep. Probably die another day. We got this uh, 30 Great Games, this uh, Obstacle Arcade. Wow, they're still putting out shovelware yeah. on Wii U. That's bullshit. Yeah, this looks awful. Transformers Prime. This actually looks kind of good and got good, somewhat good reviews. It's Transformers, as long as you know, go fast. That turn into a robot. I'm gonna say right now is the time to collect for the Wii U. Are yes. you guys are on the fence right now? If you're gonna do it, do it right now because prices are at the very bottom. Especially They're at GameStop. Start skyrocketing. Yeah, they are. That's the new cartoon. Uh, Adventure Time, Finn and Jake, Investigations. Looks kind of like. Uh, I've never watched Adventure Time. It's good. I think I've watched maybe 10 minutes of it. Is it good? You like it? I mean, I like the fact that the dog is Bender. What's his real name? I don't know. It's Redhead. Yeah, it's Got a pack here from Amazon. Yeah. You know, this is one of those things you see other YouTubers talking about games and get you all excited. And here's one of those games. I thought, guys, that this game. This Lord of the Rings, the third age, was the same for every platform. No, 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 So no. if you had it on the Xbox or the PS2, I thought it was the same as the Game Boy Advance. But I was wrong. You're very wrong. Because this is the one that I wanted all along. This plays kind of like Fire Emblem. Yeah, I've played that. And you know who knows Maybe. even more about this game? Who that? Because he's actually played it. 
Mosley! All right, Rebel Gamers, so those fucking nerds over there want me to talk about Lord of the Rings The Third Age on the GBA. Hey, Gandalf, nice dress. In all seriousness, though, I enjoy orcs and shit as much as the next guy. So let's go ahead and take a look at this game, shall we? Lord of the Rings The Third Age came out in 2004 for the Game Boy Advance. It was developed by Grip the Night Games and published by EA. It is a turn-based strategy game you can play for the good or the evil side. You get to pick a main hero and two companions. These essentially function as your resources in the game and they're required to complete various objectives. But the main function of them is to determine troop movement, as you can see. You assign them to a flank and they control troop movement within those flanks. Basically, they're going to be your most powerful characters as they have individual stats and things like that. Uh, overall, the game plays really smooth, it's nice, fast-paced, turn-based strategy, which is what you want on a handheld console. The thing that I think makes it unique is the cover system, whereas like, if you're underneath trees, you're going to have a damage bonus against somebody who's not underneath the cover of trees, etc. So I'm sure you can see how that makes the game a little more interesting in addition to the stats and whatnot. After you defeat enemies, you gain experience and collect items, all that good stuff. The only annoying part about the game is that you have troops that can sometimes become cowardly and like flee, and then they'll be unusable for the next turn. That can be a little frustrating, I imagine, as you upgrade your stats and things in between levels, you can do stuff that will negate that a little bit. Outside of that, though, it plays real smooth. You could do a lot worse as far as turn-based strategy games go. So if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings, if you're a fan of handheld gaming and the Game Boy Advance specifically, and you like turn-based strategy, this is definitely something to check out. See, Mo knows all about it, so this game looks pretty good. It's pretty awesome. My boy Legolas. Aragorn. Aragorn? Yeah. Gimli? Yeah. Gimli? Say the top three. Gandalf? My boy Sam. Samwise? Samwise. Frodo. Fuck Frodo. You know any fucking characters? Um, Gollum. There you go. There you go. Because you played fucking Shadow. What's his name? What's his other name? What's his real name? Schmeagol. Schmeagol. <laughs> Schmeagol. Uh, I went to a pawn shop, guys. Galadriel. That's good. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but. That's that bitch. Uh, pawn shop, guys. Three for ten. We got Castlevania, Circles of the Moon. Dragon Warrior 1 and 2. Oh, I thought you were going to DDT him. Force it. <laughs> Mega Man 6, Jordan. Battle Network 6. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. You play any of these, Ron? Yeah. So there's a million of them. It's like a, yeah, they're like grid-based, weird card game. It's cool. It's good combat. Keeps it interesting. It's good. You can skate. You can skate? Yeah. I had this game once. Then my dad got a job. Prince of Persia. We gotta speed it up. You know, there's a lot of games this week on the DS. I got this at GameStop, and this one GameStop actually holds on to their cases. That's smart. That's kind of cool for two dollars and ah! thirty-nine cents. Worth that. It's probably a fun game. I assume it's ported of the first one. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably the first one. Jordan, so. talk about this one and pronounce it. Cookie! Yeah, all right, so I could have done that. Uh, I think it's like a dating sim, but you're trying to fuck all these samurais. Oh. They look like they're about to gangbang. Is that really a dating sim? I'm pretty sure. You're, you're trying to get that samurai Or is date. it just a visual novel? It might just be a visual novel. It looks like a lot of... Uh, I hope it's a dating sim. A lot of reading. We got this art academy, so I can, I can learn how to... Drop portraits oh, we can make of tight new, white. Make some new shirts. On this. Yeah, we should. We should try that. Jordan, here you go. We should draw tight white, make it into a shirt. Oh, Jordan, you like oh, this hold one? Hold on, let Jordan do that one. Tell, Jordan, what do you think of this cover? What's I'm, the first thing you notice? And the back. Look at the back, too. So I noticed the tits. That's Senran Kagura. Called that right away. Deep Crimson. Dude, these games are awesome. Jordan, why is her tits going over the fucking yeah, like, pictures? <laughs> That's definitely the first thing I noticed yesterday. That's so odd that it, it overlays over the, no, the it's photos. Just, they, they know exactly why you're here. Swords and tits. It's about the tits. So that's the, the second one in the series? I don't know. Is, is what I think that... I 
Is that a two behind it? That looks like a two on the side. Yeah. It is. It's just weird. I was excited. I, you never see this one out, out in the wild, out hunting. Even in game stops, it's the first time I've ever come across it. Has reversible cover? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Is that the PG side? That's nice. That's the less PG side. <laughs> What's going up? That's like what's going down. <laughs> we got this. We got this Jewel Master Cradle of Rome. Uh, I like these games. Don't like those games. Garbage. I like the RPG kind of puzzle. Are you role playing as a person doing a puzzle? No, you got like a kingdom. This is how you get your resources. Your resources by playing puzzle games. By getting diamonds, rubies. Yeah. Went to a video game shop. In Merrimack, New Hampshire. Yeah. I forget the name of it now. It was all right. I found one thing, two things. I got baseball blasts on the Wii. I didn't have this. It's getting hard to find Wii games I ain't got. Bang, bang. There's so many, it's still hard to find. And I also found a copy of Michael Jordan, Chaos in the Windy City. Remember when Mosley did a review on that? You can see I paid 13 bucks for that. Mosley did do a review on this for our game. basketball episode. Yeah. Was it worth 13 dollars? Yeah, I never see this. I mean, the it's pretty clean. It looks sweet. Proper. It's worth playing. Yeah. I was happy with that. For Christmas, girlfriend hooked it up oh. with this new Nintendo 3DS XL. How many, how many 3DSs you got now? Well, I got two 2DSs and I have three 3DSs, but this is the first new one I have because I don't, this, I don't, all the other ones I, I have don't have the dual I, stick I on the other side. I have one that I don't touch. You want to buy that? How much you want for that? How much you want to pay for that? It comes with like three games. How much? Got Bravely Default dog. Wait, this could be a live negotiation? It is. It may not be because there's something coming out on 3DS that I want. I mean, I can lend it to you. Play it. Nobody wants this piece of shit! Crash! How about... Hey, what's the, what's the fair price? Wait, what model is it, Jordan? I don't know. It's just black. Is Close. it the new 3DS yeah. XL? Yeah. You just don't listen. Close oh. earmuffs. Wait, no. what games? It's Fire Emblem. Uh, Zelda Pokemon X, Zelda Persona Q, Earthbound, and Bravely Default. Earmuffs. Okay. How about 120? <laughs> ha, sweet baby. We're 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 so far apart on this, I don't think we're going to come together. Alright, 120 and a PS3. Rick, I'm Rick. I'm Rick right now. We're not coming together. Alright. I don't want your PS3. You said you wanted one. I want... Paul's PS3. You or want... you could just buy my old 3DS for 40 bucks. Wow, you just got to cut like you, a motherfucker. Cut you right off this Why deal. Why are pushing for 40 bucks? <laughs> All right, Jordan. Is it All right, Jordan, I'm going to give you a deal. But you got to agree to Once I say, you got to shake. All right? Well, it doesn't sound like it's much of a deal. It's going to be a deal. I'm going to need you to do this. Have it ready. No. PlayStation VR. Make it happen. <laughs> Make it happen. Make it happen. That's a hard no. Jordan. What? That's a no You're for me. You're turning down the bit. That's a no for me, wow. dog. That's you a, out? That's a no from me. You out? The Shark Tank? Shark Tank. You out? American Idol. Deals off. You didn't get your deals off. Paper. Well, that's gonna wrap up episode seventy. Look at this that awesome, was some good gaming. Look at this awesome new cup I bought. Get duffed. <laughs> Simpsons. Certainly not yours anymore. Although I'll put it back next to the other ones. Ah. We'll be in cahoots. This time of year is fucking hectic. I hate it. Yeah. With the holiday stuff, it's it's been difficult to produce these at moments. Uh, we're, we're getting back in the flow, though. We are going to get back. So so bear with us. I know some of these have been bare-boned. It's like negative 18. Yeah, th that's another problem, guys. I, d I don't turn the heat on in my place. So I hate coming over. And it really is. I think it's like 40 degrees in here. So it kind of sucks. And on top of that, we've been working so much that we really haven't been coming up with too new much. ideas. Too fucking much. Way too much. We got ideas, just ain't got the time. Yep. But that's all gonna change in the coming months. When we, 
we get in 20 hours each. And, oh, we do have a bit of news. Do I need a part time job? Oh. Now, calm down. Retro, retro Gaming Arts. Yeah, Paul. Yeah. Paul, make happens. sure to go over to his channel and keep your eyes peeled because we did a scavenger hunt Ooh. for him. Our boy Paul, Our Retro boy. Gaming Arts. So check him out because uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to be uh, airing over there very soon. Very yeah. soon. And besides that, I hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve. And until next week, we don't need you to like it, to comment, sub that shit, and drink Pepsi. Yeah, bad Pepsi. Oh, I love it. There's no San Pellegrino. But I stopped is? drinking booze and I got hooked on the Pepsi. Are you talking the flavored ones? Yeah. Blood Orange. I don't like that one. I feel like there's a red one. Like oh, oh! If you've made it this far in the video too. Before we sign off, hit us up on Facebook <laughs> <laughs> and uh, give us your phone number because we want to call you next week. We're not joking. Yeah, this is we're dead serious. We want to get find it. We want to get some people live on the phone for these these episodes. We want to interact with you. So All right. fucking do it. So give me your number. Give us your number and goodbye. I ain't getting that really. <laughs> Well, let me tell you something, brother. Yeah.